How to TIG Weld Steel on this episode of Full Bore with Brian Fuller and Mark Prosser. Welcome to TIG Welding Steel 1512-12-2-4 video. Woohoo! You just bought your new TIG machine, red one of course, and you're ready to learn. So what we're going to try to do today is give you just a quick start on how to get this baby rolling. First thing you need to do is buy yourself a bottle of 100% Argon. Yes! Now, turn it on. Once you get it hooked up, of course, we're going to set it to 15 to 20 CFHs. Cubic feet per hour. Got that right, didn't I? Woohoo! Now, come on down. We've got to turn on the machine, which we've already done. Turn it on. We're going to set it to DC negative, and we're going to set to 100 amps. Hey, for steel, that's pretty close, right? Steel, stainless steel. If you're going to be welding with silicon bronze, we're going to do that too. Meet Mr. Presser. This Hello. is where I, this is the handoff. Hello. Or the throw. So Brian's got the machine set up pretty good here. You know, he set it at 100 amps because of the thickness of the material you're using. I'm using a filler rod. This material is about 12 gauge, 14 gauge. I'm using a filler rod that's thinner than, materi than the material. You don't want to use filler rod that's thicker than the material because then it's too hard to melt the filler rod, right? That makes sense. I've, uh, I did forget one thing. Don't forget to hook up your ground clamp. That'll shock you. There you go, <laughs> shock you. Shock you. I got a 332 tungsten. It's good for about 200 amps, which is twice as what we're gonna be using. So the biggest thing about making these TIG welds is we wanna keep this tungsten as close as we can to the metal. We're gonna show you on this camera here. We're gonna move consistently across. We're gonna dip consistently, and we're gonna keep that tungsten as close as we can to the metal and still have room to dip that filler metal under there. So you wanna rip it? But absolutely. Go here ahead. we go. Let's get it. Now the thing they didn't mention was gold or purple tungsten was what we recommend. And try not to stick your tungsten into the work. Get it nice and tight, but don't stick it in there. You're probably gonna have to narrate this process while you do it. Yeah, if you notice, I'm dipping that filler rod nice and consistently. One, two, one, two, one, two, it's really the only way you're gonna get a really, really good looking pig weld is develop some sort of a counting system. I used to actually count. So I would go one, two, three, four in my mind. It was just a way to time it. Yeah, and, and not only timing it that way, but also how long you dip it for. Because if you dip it longer, that weld builds up more. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're dipping it consistently, but it's also the duration of how long it's dipping for. And you just get those good looking TIG welds that everybody looks at and says, can you weld that for me? Sure, for a small fee. But now, Large. now that you have your own welder, you too can charge a fee. Yes. For more information, check out LincolnElectric.com or FullerMoto.com or these great publications. Full Bore Welding, Full Bore Sheet Metal, and the new ARC Magazine. Also, big thanks to our sponsors, Lincoln Electric, Jet Tools, Industrial Depot, and ARP Fasteners.